Hi guys, how are things? It has been a long time since the last session, so I think it is long overdue. Uh, many of you have sent me a lot of requests regarding uh, different topics that you want me to cover. Uh, one of them was the 5G coverage expansion. Uh, so I thought in this session I will start with that. Um, I will do multiple topics, multiple sessions on this topic. So um, the first one that I will cover would be a, diff a simpler one, which is about the B1 threshold. So let's understand that and see how we can optimize it uh, to increase our 5G coverage, of course. Now, um, before we do that, we just need to understand the whole context. In case of 5G NSA network, we have um, a scenario where we have an LTE anchor. So over here, this uh, purple color uh, shows the f LTE coverage, while the green one shows the 5G coverage. So you have multiple mobiles on LTE, and then the LTE site adds the 5G cell for these mobiles so that they can get the 5G service. Now, how does it happen? Well, it has uh, to happen in a way that this LTE site has to ask these 5G mobile handsets, are you in 5G coverage and if they say yes then this LTE site adds the 5G cell for these um, mobiles. So on, on technical front how this is done? This is done using the B1 measurement config. So the LTE anchor sends an RRC message to these 5G capable mobiles which has the, uh, the B1 measurement threshold. So let's say if the B1 measurement threshold is minus 110 RSR, minus 100 dBm RSRP, it will be something like this. In the message, it will look like this, uh, the B1 configuration. Over here, we have the B1 threshold and our RSRP, which is set to 56. Now, 56 means minus 100. How do you get that? As I explained in my previous videos, uh, you have to subtract 156 from this value. So if this is 56 and you subtract 156, then 56 minus 156 is equal to minus 100 TBM. So what it means is that these mobiles will measure the 5G RSRP. And if the RSRP of the 5G cell is above minus 100, these mobiles will send a measurement report to the LTE anchor indicating that this mobile is within the 5G coverage. If let's say this mobile measures the 5G RSRP and it is uh, let's say minus 130, it will say that it is much lower than the B1 threshold. So it will not send any B1 measurement report to the LTE anchor and thus the LTE anchor will never add a 5G cell for this one. So it means it is out of the 5G coverage. So in simple words, it will this LTE anchor is asking question to all these mobiles. Are you in 5G coverage? For this mobile, the answer is no. For this mobile, even though it is within the 5G coverage of, uh, of the cell, but because it is below the B1 threshold, it will also answer no. While this cell, this mobile, it will answer yes. So what will happen is that then the LTE anchor will add 5G E and DC setup or 5G service for this mobile only, right? And this mobile will enjoy the 5G services while these two mobiles will uh, only get the LTE service. So that is how it is. But now what happens is that in most of the networks, we just put our B1 threshold based on the default values. Uh, it's not really optimized. While we can optimize it based on uh, for instance, a uh, higher band can have a lower threshold, a lower band can have a higher threshold, and there are many ways to find the optimum threshold. So for instance, if I increase the B1 threshold of this cell to minus 110, so what will happen is that will increase my 5G coverage here, right? And uh, in this case, what will happen is that then this mobile will also say, yes, I am in 5G coverage, and it will get the 5G service. So in other words, what will happen is that more mobiles will be able to access the 5G cell and we will have uh, a better 5G coverage or we can say a bigger 5G footprint. So the B1 threshold, I guess, is one of the uh, 
simplest and easiest way to increase your 5G coverage. However, now there is a catch here, of course. When you expand your 5G coverage using the B1 threshold, you what you're doing is that you're adding more users in poor RSRP, right? So for instance, over here, we increased from minus 100 to minus 110. So the users that are added now in the 5G cell are in the RSRP zone of minus 100 to minus 110. So they, these are low coverage users. So what will happen is that your 5G KPIs can actually go down a bit. For instance, your 5G user throughput KPI or even your 5G accessibility can go down, right? So we have to find a threshold which is an optimum value. We cannot expand uh, without any calculation, right? For instance, if I expand it to let's say NEG 120, let's say this red circle here. So what will happen is that all the users that are getting in this portion here will be facing drops or they will fail in at RATCH or their throughputs will be very, very low that you start getting user complaints. So in, in a nutshell, 5G coverage expansion, one of the simplest way would be to expand your B1 threshold. But on the other hand, you have, you cannot just expand it without any uh, analysis, right? You need to do an analysis to find out the most optimum threshold. Now, in the next video, I will show you what you can do or what analysis you can do to find this optimum threshold. So stay tuned. Uh, it will be there shortly.